Okay, we are at the Sugar House at the Proctor Maple Research Center in Underhill Center, Vermont. Right. Part of the University of Vermont's Maple Program, and we're with Dr. Timothy Perkins, Jeff Goulet from LaPierre. We got Andy, Abby Vandenberg back there, another researcher here at the Proctor Center. And we're boiling on the new high bricks machine, 35% concentrate today. Uh, Dr. Perkins, tell me how it's going so far with this. It's going great. We're about halfway into our season. We have about 32 or 33 hours on this machine so far, and it's it's been running excellent. So, you know, inform the sugar maker a little bit what it's like to boil a 35% concentrate. Um, it, it keeps you on your toes, especially the first few times you boil. It seems like it's going to be a little different. Um, it's faster, certainly. The, you make syrup much faster than you do with a traditional rig, but other than that, it's very, very similar. Um, have to learn the, the quirks of any evaporator, including this type. And well, once you once you understand those, it's very very simple to operate. Jeff, tell us a little bit about the process. You know, you're putting you got an RO in the back. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But you know, it goes 35 percent. How do we get there? We get there in uh, one step, but actually that's uh, two levels. We have one first level in the RO that takes the sap for instance at two bricks brings it up to 16 or 17 bricks and then it transfers in this level number two which take that 17 bricks uh, concentrate and you know kind of cuts into the uh, or removes half of the volume to bring it up to 34 35 and then there's a specially designed evapor evaporator where you see that it has quite a bit of uh, flat bands the flat band surface is pretty much between two thirds and three quarters, and we have a small area still in the rear with flues, so we still need to evaporate a little bit, you know, in the back with the flue band, and then get into the uh, syrup bands and have that fairly long travel in order to uh, uh, get what we want, uh, nice tasting maple syrup. And then, speaking of the taste, uh, Abby, you've done a lot of research on high bricks, uh, syrup from high bricks app. Tell me a bit about your results. Yeah, really simply, the, we found that the flavor of syrup made with the high bricks technologies is really very similar to syrup made with standard levels of RO. So we really didn't find any differences at all. Um, so the engineering of the evaporator to compensate for the higher levels of sugar concentration really seems to do the job in making sure that the flavor is really intact. That's remarkable. All right, we'll let you get back to man in the rig and uh, good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you. Thank you.